and I'm the system director here at the BLCPC. We currently have 21 classrooms with a capacity of 280 kids. This upcoming fall, we are having our new preschool addition, increasing our numbers up to 304. If parents are looking to enroll their children in childcare, they go to militarychildcare.com. All payments are completely online. They are available on the 1st, the 15th, and monthly. All fees are determined by a total family income. You just provide your LES and any pay stubs and we determine your fees. Some events that we provide here at the CDC are our art auction, green eggs and ham breakfast, and trips to the hamburger and pumpkin farm. We are open from 6.15 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. We are closer federal holidays and on the weekends. We do support the gift parents of rate quarterly and do offer leasing and drop-in care based on availability. So my name is Trina and my job description is an education technician. I am a lead teacher in infancy. So parents can expect to get a welcome packet for myself as well as the front desk. It will describe everything they need to bring in for their child. Diapers, wipes, formula if they have it. We provide Similac Advance and Similac Soy. We also like to go through the classroom when they get here and go through their cubbies. They have their own cubbies. They have their own place for their diapers and wipes. We like to make the parents feel welcome. Come in, tour the classroom. They can call whenever they want. We also have daily sheets that we like to give the parents every day. It's our form of communication with them. What time their child ate, the time their child slept, and any kind of happy thoughts that their child has done throughout the day, whether it be physical, cognitive, emotional. We have a lesson plan that we go through that we work with the child. Each child has their own. So while touring the classroom, we like to show the parents the cribs. We do practice safe sleep here. When a child falls asleep, the only place we can place them is on their back. That's for their safety. So on a typical day, we have a lot of activity, activities that we can do with these children. We have tummy time, we have climbers that we use. We also have small motor toys, little fidget toys they can play with. We have sensory activities that we like to do, water play. We go outside once a week, which is also great for the infants to get socialized with each other and watch the other age groups as well. They have their own little area outside. We also follow our lesson plan. We plan for each child's individual needs, developmentally appropriate, whatever they need. We have not so much of a schedule in infants as there is in other classrooms. A lot of the children, they don't wanna participate in the activity, that's totally okay. A lot of times children have different needs than another child. Sometimes they don't wanna do that activity. Sensory play, a lot of children are different. In the infant classroom, they have a different routine than let's say pre-tod, toddler, and preschool. We follow the needs of each child separately. If the, if the child wants to sleep, we can let them sleep. They eat on demand. We don't have a set schedule for these children. We like to let them do the activities that they want. We do provide a scheduled time for breakfast, lunch, and snack. As they get older in the infant classroom, we do get them on a pre-tod schedule. So that is more structured in the pre-tod area. So they get used to it. They sleep at nap time at 12 o'clock and they wake up and they have snack. So it's a little more structured as they get older, but as a younger infant, it is sleep on demand, play on demand when they're ready. So when a parent comes in the classroom, we like to show them around the classroom. So these are the buckets where they can drop off the bottles, their clothes, diapers, and wipes. We grab them here. This is also where we put the bottles and stuff when they're done. They can pick up all their supplies right here. The next is, this is our tummy time mat. We have big children that crawl through there. We have the little children. We have the baby gym. Also, this is our form of communication with within each staff in the classroom, as well as the parents, they're welcome back here. We have our bottle board right here. We also have, this is where we put our daily sheets. These are all the children's supplies, diapers, wipes, and clothes. And then we also have 
gross motor activities for the larger child. We have the climber over here. And to practice our safe sleep, we have our cribs. And each child has their own crib. Every time we put a new child, we change a sheet every time. We do understand here at the CDC, when you have a new child coming in the classroom for the first time, it can be hard. We are here to support the mission for you any way we can. You can call, you can stop by anytime you need to. Hi, I am Irene and I'm an education technician for a pre-toddler classroom at the CDC. So uh, what can be expected from a pre-toddler um, classroom, it's many things, but for sure they're going to be very well uh, looked after and uh, we're going to be learning a lot of new skills, um, for example, self-help skills, they're going to wash their hands, they're going to clean their plates after they're done eating, uh, we're going to work on a lot of speech development, uh, using, the, using their first words. Uh, we're going to work on gross motor skills and uh, emotional skills. They're going to start socializing and playing with their friends um, and many other things. <laughs> when the kids walk in the classroom, the first th thing we do is uh, put their hands away in their cubbies. Each child has a personal cubby where they put their jackets, but we also store their mattresses there and their blankets. Um, Next, we wash their hands, I sand them in in our boards, and uh, usually we jump right into free play, always guided. Um, and when we have all of our children, we do a story time and get ready for breakfast. After breakfast, uh, if it's nice outside, we come outside and uh, start getting ready for lunchtime, and then it's nap time, so we put them to sleep for two hours. And uh, after that, um, they have a little snack, and then we're ready to play again. Again, uh, always guided by the teachers, but also it's a little bit of what they want to do. OK, so something great about the pre toddler age group is that the kiddos start to um, work on their self-help skills and some examples of that is that um, they clean up after themselves when they're done with meals they go and dump the little plate um, they uh, well they wash their own hands when they're done with um, changing diapers or before meals or after playing outside um, talking about going outside they also grab their jackets and put them away um, they clean the table uh, before meal time, and um, they also put their blankets away after nap time, and many other things that they start, you know, learning. So um, some of the supplies we're gonna need in the pre taught classroom is gonna be diapers um, and wipes, and when we run out of them or we're low, we'll let you know when we need more. And uh, something that we really need is an extra change of clothes. Just because this is the age group where they start running around and getting really dirty here at the playground or just, you know, feeding themselves. Um, so an extra pair of clothes would be nice to have. And what's very important too, just because they start running around, we come outside, is that they wear shoes that um, have a closed toe and closed heel and that maybe they're a little difficult to take off because they love taking off their shoes. So in the morning when you come with your child, uh, we ask him parents to fill up the daily sheet that we have right next to the door um, where we ask you to tell us when was the last time the child ate and how did he or she slept that night and uh, we're gonna fill it up throughout the day, letting you know about their meals and their diaper changes and their nap time, just to keep uh, you know, the communication going. I'll also write some notes about the activities we do, and uh, that's where we'll communicate if we need more diapers or wipes. A 
Okay, so this is what a pre-toddler classroom looks like. And the uh, first thing that children do in the morning is walk right through the door, put their things away in their cubbies. Every child has a personal cubby where we keep the mattress, their blankets and jackets. And then they go straight to wash their hands and that little sink. Um, and then uh, we are ready to go and play. <laughs> This is our diaper changing area. Um, every child has their own bin for diapers and wipes. And we also have a sink available for children back there where they wash their hands after we change our diapers. Um, over here, we have some family pictures. Uh, it's good to have those emotional connections um, and they love to come here and point at their pictures of the, you know, the family or their pets. <laughs> um, over there we have our sanitizing area where we sanitize all the toys that they put in their mouths. We don't want cross contamination. Um, these are our tables. We use the tables for, well, eating. Uh, we have family style dining. So we sit down with them and, uh, we also use the tables for top table toys or uh, art activities um, and also practicing our writing skills. Um, this area over here is a, lot, a little more dedicated to free play, but there is a lot of toys with different shapes and textures. So they learn about those. Uh, we have some blocks and stacking toys over there. Here's our awesome climber and slide. They love this one. Um, this one helps to uh, develop their cross motor skills. And um, over here we have our dramatic play area. Uh, there's baby dolls, there's telephones, cameras, puppies, and that's where they first learn to uh, pretend play. So they pretend to rock the baby or call mommy on the phone. Um, that's our library. And uh, here we have some multicultural toys uh, and also some cars and animals. And so in this area, we, we use this area for um, circle time. So this is where we read stories um, before and after meals, usually before meals. Um, but this is also a very fun area because here's where we play music, um, we blow bubbles, we have the bubbles over there, we have a variety of instruments here to play with, um, we throw parties, we have these fun scarves that they love to shake around, and yeah, definitely a fun place. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tong Tao, and I'm in our education technician. And I've been working in the CDC with a toddler for seven years. In a typical day of the children activity, we, we, are, do, we are following the, uh, the schedule, which is we have a lesson plan that we are following. In the morning, the kids, when they arrive to the classroom, they, are, they, um, they pick area that they want to go play. And after around 8.15, we are doing circle time. Uh, that is our learning time, which is we're setting circle, the teacher gonna read to the kid. And um, we have breakfast. After breakfast, we are having the, we are having the kid, whenever I need to do a party training, they go and party. And after that, um, the kid are going to pick a, a center that they want to do and they pin a center. Uh, we are divide the group into two, so we could take seven kids outside and leave seven inside. So that called small group. So the small group time we could do activity with the kid, which is we do like arts or we do like crab all that, and then we um, and then we have the first group go outside, and then uh, after like around like like forty five minutes. Then they will come back inside and we rotate the group and the next group is doing the small group again. And then uh, after that, then we, then we, um, it's our, um, circle time again for, um, lunchtime. We'll do, 
we do soccer time and then we'll have lunch and then after lunch we have our nap time. So um, we'll have our nap time for uh, two, uh, 12 30 to 2 o'clock and after nap time we're waking up, we'll kind of do like the, um, so uh, we'll go to the um, circle time for some quiet activity, like book, and after for like uh, a little bit, then we are going to do some, um, we're going to have our snack, and after snack, we're going to, um, we're going to do um, our classroom routine again, so we'll do, uh, we'll take some serving outside and some inside, so we could do our small group again. After we coming back inside, uh, all the kids, uh, we we all had the outside time and inside time. So when we come inside, the kids have free time. They could pick um certain area that they want to play with. On our lesson plan, we have parent involvement, so the parent could come, uh, read a book to the kids, or do a TV with the kids. So if the parent they want to be um do some kind of like um project or do something with the kids, just let the teacher know so we can plan ahead of time. And then um, they could come to the classroom and we could um, do a project with the, the parent and the kid. But if you just want to come and visit or read a book to, to the children, you are more than welcome just to come to the classroom and read a book to the kid or play with the kid. The kid love to play with um, with anybody that new to the classroom. They love to see new face. Um, so also we uh we are do uh, our big thing is potty training. Um, we we have a lot of parents that do really interesting potty training. Um, <clears throat> so we do like potty training here. Uh, what we doing potty training here? We kind of like um every time we send the kid going potty, we uh would encourage the child to sit in the potty before we put a new diapers or pullets on them. Uh, that will get they used to and, and get into like, oh, okay, it's party. So it's not something like uh, new to them or like scare them. So they will get used to it. There's a lot of time that we have some kids that they, um, their parents be surprised because they're like, oh, my kids in the party at home. Well, they ask for it and they said that they're exciting. So uh, we will, our big thing is uh, support the parents with the party train. Um, so any, uh, it, it, like for example, like if you think that your child is ready or not, cause I have a lot of um, parents they ask me, oh, I'm not sure if my kids ready or not. We have like a check checklist uh, for for the parents to to read through and check see if the kids ready. If they're ready, then they will let the teachers know. Um, we both could be at the same page, and they will will go from there. So if the parents think that their kids ready, they check out the checklist. The kids ready. And then we'll make a plan. We're like, okay, today we're gonna, we're gonna uh, have the kid go and party for every thirty minutes. So we'll do the same thing every thirty minutes. If the parent do same thing thirty minutes at home too. Sign, sign your kid in the nineteen thirty. And this is our um, cubby for uh, all the children. Every child will have a cubby from them. Uh, the cubby is for them to have their actual clothes in there. So for example, like we do activity like paint or um, party tree. Um, if they have any accident, uh, we could have a set of extra clothes in here to change them. Also, um, if the child bring their like blanket or like a stuffy, a small stuffy animal, we could put it in the cubby. And so this is the cubby from them. Or we'll have the name on it, and they will know exactly that this is them. And we'll take a picture of them, and then we'll put it in here so they will know that that is that cubby. This is our circle area. Uh, which we have book in here. Uh, we have some um, kind of like a sofa in here, a carpet. So what, there's a lot of time we have um, children that they love to grab books, sit down with their friend, and read, uh, read to each other, making a story to each other. Um, this is um, artwork that we hang on the child's artwork. So. Like I said again, we have um, so we have small group and then we'll do our work and then we'll display in the classroom so all the kids can see it too. Uh, this is our climber. This is our climber. The kids can go up and down here. Um, um, this is our block area. We have block, we have track, we have animal, um, like dinosaurs and that. We have a lot of kids that love to 
play in this area. There's a lot of time when they bury together. They also county with the uh, we have a lot of like um, car with different color. The kid like to say the color and like animal count with the animal. Um, this is our kitchen area. This is the big part that we have lots of kids love the um, kitchen area. They love to um, play with a dog. There's a lot of time that uh, they're cooking. They invite to come eat with them. Um, we have um, we we have um, baby dog here too. They love to cookie and feed to their baby dog. And uh, this is a science area over here. Um, they, they love to um, play with the magnet. So this is our water table. Um, our kids, they love to play the water table. The water table, we not only put water, we do activity in there. Like we put painting, we put sand, we put animal in there. The kid loving bear the animal, animal in there and looking for it. Uh, sometimes we do activity, we put a bar in there, painting, the kid just keep rolling the, uh, the, the table back and forth and the, they just made a cool design of painting. We'll do the kids uh, party chain here. So we, before we change it up here, we'll help them go and party and current them to stay in the toilet. So here's our hand washing sink. Um, after they go and party, they're washing their hand in here. This is the party, party on uh, the bathroom sink. So after they go and bathroom, they wash their hand in here. And this is our writing area. We have supply like uh, scissor, a safety scissor. We had uh, paper, crayon, uh, magazine. Um, so if the kid they want to do it, they can grab it and do it at the table. Hello, I'm Mr. Johnny. I'm an education technician for preschool age. Parents can expect more structure, more guidance, and bigger numbers for the children to be able to navigate their emotions and educational experience. The kids are starting to learn more of how to control their emotions and correspond with other children in their age group without being physical and learning their words. Uh, they're learning to communicate more verbally than physically and how to get along with other children with different interests. They're also learning uh, to socially coexist with a, a bigger number. Also in preschool, we encourage parent involvement. We need parents to come in and be part of the class to uh, donate time to read or to play music or show us different skill sets to teach the children there's more than just A, B, and C. There's the whole range of things that they can learn. So we do offer parent-teacher conferences whenever we need it and twice a year beyond what's needed. And that we're here to support as a team with the families to combine our experience with, for the child to access their needs and where we need to go from there. Certain things that are expected of parents at this stage, uh, making sure the kids have clothes or when we get paint or dirty or even accidents, uh, things to bring in no foods, uh, no home toys unless specified for show and share. And also it's a good idea to bring blankets and maybe a stuffed animal for quiet time so they could cuddle with it and feel relaxed. Here in our preschool class, each child will have their own separate cubbies with a place to put their belongings for the day until nap time or their backpacks for their belongings. Over here we have what we like to call a calm down box. It's a quiet area for the child to choose to go if they're having trouble with their emotions and they choose they want to be separated and have a place on their own. They could come over here and hang out. We also have computers for the children to get on and play. We do limit the time. They can't play all day, every day, but we, we have timers above it. We have about 15 minutes a turn. We have the music area. Carpet area, this is where the teacher sits down and does circle times, where we learn our ABCs and our one, two, threes. And we have different areas for cognitive learning. We have block area, and we also have the dress up area, we like to call it the kitchen area. Science area over there, and the library is another quiet area if they need to, 
go read a book or they don't want to play the games and stuff like that. Over here we have our restrooms, changing tables, water play, and paint table. And right here in front we have our t lunch table where we do table work. We do a little bit of school work, not a whole lot. We learn through play. And that's what to expect in our classrooms and how they're set up.